Welcome back. Welcome back. We're having a big conversation today. More than a million women in the United States enter menopause. I said the word menopause each year. And yet it's surprisingly a topic that a lot of women don't talk about, leading to a lot of confusion and unanswered questions. Michelle Jacobs and Sally Mueller are hoping to end it and allow us to free ourselves to have this conversation. In 2020, the business owners decided to start the conversation surrounding menopause by creating the company Womanness. Please welcome Michelle Jacobs and Sally Mueller to this conversation today. Thank you, Thank you. Um, I am fascinated by this on so many layers and levels. I mean, just when I said menopause, I feel like the room pauses. Yes. It's... When did you realize that it was taboo? So many women that we talk to when we started researching menopause, they whisper it, they don't like to talk about it. You go to doctors, doctors can't answer questions about it. And what we found- Well, it's not new though, right? And menopause has been around since we've been around. Right. Why is this? I mean, I think it's our older generations right. didn't talk about it. Our mothers didn't talk well, to us yeah. about it. Well, and... we didn't talk about menstrual cycles. Right. right. I mean, it's all, right. Is, right. do you think it's all in that connective tissue? Yes. I do. I do think it is. And I think it's the next taboo that needs to be broken. And mm -hmm. we are breaking it. We are starting to have the conversation about menopause. Right. What surprised you most about it breaking down the wall mm -hmm. to have the conversation? Well, really, it's about how much information we don't know. There are over 40 symptoms related to menopause. And when we mm -hmm. speak to women, they don't even know. They associate menopause with hot flashes only. And they have no idea that it's weight gain, hair loss, libido issues, a lot of issues around libido, bone health, brain health. And so the fact that we don't talk about it means that women aren't educated on their own bodies. And also we're not treating it, right? Because right. if you don't talk about it, you don't right. also talk about treatment. I, 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 I remember having a conversation with a friend and we were watching an episode of a, of a sitcom where the character was going through menopause and she was being treated with sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. And there we are Googling, does sweet potatoes wow. yeah. help with menopause? And I'm like, I'm getting advice on this topic from a character on a TV show. Right. Because we don't have the conversations. Right. And, and I think a lot of the doctors are not trained in menopause in medical school. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that's starting to change, but that's what we've heard is that it's just not a common, you know, uh, class, class or a series of classes that they should take. You, I don't think you can accomplish that in one class. Well, no, and it's, it's, it really needs, I mean, as Michelle said, there's so many symptoms. Right. And we really want women in their 30s to learn more about menopause. Right. It's so important to be prepared for it. Well, to that point, though, we, you know, you want women in their 30s to start having the conversation. So much of it is a negative, or mm -hmm. positioned as negative. You're right. getting old, you're not desirable, it's the right. end, you know. Yeah. Um, it, it, you're not a woman, you know, anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right. if we start having the conversation in our 30s, what do you think that changes? Well, you cannot think of menopause as the end. Women in their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, their 60s mm -hmm. are going through menopause and they are young, living vibrant lives, mm -hmm. top of their in career. In their 30s? Women in some, their 30s. Perimenopause? Peri perimenopause, yes. but some start. will experience premature menopause. I'll tell you who told, and I can say it because she told me on national TV, the first person I ever had a serious conversation with was Patti LaBelle. And she mm -hmm. told me her history. And I was yeah. like, man, we're on national TV. Right. But yeah. this was in the 90s when I first met her. And she's never apologized for having this real conversation. And more of us should do that. Absolutely. I yeah. think all of us. So I commend you for inviting us on to talk about it. Oh, listen. I am committed to you because I think it's a fascinating part of women's health that we just don't talk about. And that's why we have this show. So please come back because oh, we're we going to do the hour on it. Thank you so much for joining us.